Greetings to all of you gathered in Bangkok today for the Asia-Pacific Regional Forum on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The forum takes place at an important time, one year into the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, and it's good to see growing momentum around this. At the high-level political forum at the UN in July, 22 countries presented voluntary national reviews of their SDG work. They included China, Philippines and Samoa. In UNDP, we see almost all countries in the Asia-Pacific taking action to localise the SDGs. For example, the National Assembly of Pakistan passed a unanimous resolution to adopt the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs in the National Development Agenda. And Indonesia, which is built on the common ground between the SDGs and its development plan, and is designing national and local action plans for implementation. With nearly 60% of the world's population and 40% of the world's GDP, the way the nations of the Asia-Pacific approach the SDGs is of global significance. At UNDP, we are keen to help share the lessons of your experiences and the best practices you are developing. UNDP is working with many governments in the Asia-Pacific on integrating the SDGs into national development planning, budgeting and financing. We're working pursuant to the approach agreed across the UN Development Group, MAPS, which is about mainstreaming Agenda 2030 into national plans, accelerating progress, and giving good joined up policy support. Our MAPS approach seeks to help countries incorporate the global agenda at the national and subnational levels, address specific obstacles to taking it forward, and source policy expertise from right across the UN system. As well, we're exploring innovative ways of tracking, catalyzing, and leveraging finance across sectors and from various sources to match with national priorities for SDG implementation. The guiding principle of everything UNDP does is national ownership. So, UNDP is dedicated to working with you on implementation of the 2030 Agenda. Thank you for your commitment to the SDGs and Agenda 2030, and we very much look forward to our continuing work with you and your countries.